Hello guys, this is Absin Ishmael. Today, let's take a look at how to add CSS3 animations to object in a carousel. So to show you what I mean, I already have here opened a page which I have a carousel created here as well as I have some objects in the carousel. So these are just some objects and as you can see, as the carousel moves to the next slide, there is some kind of animation applied to the object coming in here. So let's take a look at how to achieve this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I'll go ahead and open my WYSIWYG Web Builder. And then what I'm going to do is let me just go ahead and create a new page. So I'll come here, create a new page, and then I'm going to go to my toolbox and then look for the carousel. Now I'll click on the carousel and then I'm going to draw here. So let me just change the size of my carousel here. This is going to be 970 pixels by 450 pixels. That's the size I want to use. And then I'm going to double click on my carousel. So double clicking in it. First of all, I'm going to get rid of the last um, slide here. I'll be using only three slides. So I'll just get rid of this. And then I'm going to go ahead to go to options so that I can set the carousel to full width. So under full width, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and select full width. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to come back to my toolbox and then I'm going to bring a material icon. So I'll search for material icon and then I'm going to draw here. So let me just go ahead and then expand the size of this a bit. So this size is OK. Let me just position it here. Come back to my toolbox this time around. I'm going to look for the text tool. So let me just select the text tool and then I'm going to draw here. Now I'm going to double click on this and populate it with about, let us say, 25 words. And then I'm going to highlight over everything and then select the heading style tag that is a five here. And let me just go ahead and expand this a little bit. And I'm going to move this a bit to the bottom. And then I'll come back to my toolbox. This time around, I'm going to locate the shape too. So let me just come to my toolbox, click on the shape, and then draw here. Let me just hide this and bring my property inspector. Then I'm going to change the size of my button to 140 by 40 pixels. I'll go ahead and hit on enter. Let me just move it a little bit to the left here and move this a bit to the bottom. And then I'm going to double click in my shape. I'll come to test and then I'm going to change the background color to black so that I can see what I'll be typing in here. Let me just go ahead and change the color to white and change the size to about 12 pixels. And then I'm just going to type about S. I'll go ahead and enable this and then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. So that's about S in our button here. And now I'm going to go ahead to apply my effects or CSS3 animations to my object I have in here. So first of all, I'm going to double click on this and then I'll come to CSS3 animation. I'll hit on add and then I'll click on the drop down arrow by animation and select the animation I want to use in here. I want a situation whereby when this carousel is being shown or this slide is being shown, this particular object is going to come in from the left that is going to fade in from the left. So I'll select animate fade in left. And then um, that is, let me just select fade in right instead because it's going to come from the left to the right. And then I'm going to make the duration about 600. And then the delay is going to be about 400. I can decide to take out the delay if I don't want any delay, but I want this to come in a very smooth and slow way so that I can see it. And then I'm going to change the interaction count to one. I'll go ahead and hit on OK and then hit on OK. Now I'm going to right click on my test here, go to object properties come to css3 animations and then i'm going to hit on add so this one i would want it to come from the right to the left so, it, so it, this is going to be unmute fade in left and then this is going to be about 800 and then this is going to be about 500 i'll go ahead and change this to one and then go ahead and hit an ok hit an ok now i'm going to go to my button come to css3 animations and then I'll come to add and then change this to animate fade in up. So this is going to come from the bottom to the top. And then this is going to be, let me just change this to about 900. Let me just make this 1000 so that this slows down a bit. And then this is going to be about, um, let me just make this 600 and change this to 1. I'll go ahead and hit on OK and then hit on OK. Now let's, let me just preview this in my browser and uh, see before we are supposed to preview this in a browser we are supposed to do something but before i go ahead with that let me just preview this so that you see if our animation is going to take effect okay so animation is actually taking effect but under normal circumstance where you have faced the situation where your animation is not working all you have to do is to come back to your slide or your carousel go to properties and change the effects here to effect fit that is going to correct that issue but in case um, that is when you are faced with that issue but since our we have this working there's no need to 
bother about that. So now let me just go to and let me select my objects I have in here. All these three objects. I'll copy it, come to my next slide, and then I'm going to paste that here. Let me just change the position. And then uh, move the test and button to the right hand side. Let me come to my third slide and then I'm going to paste that here. Let me just position that here. And then I'll just go ahead and preview this again in our browser. So I'll hit on F5. And as you can see, we have animation. This is coming from the right to the left. This is coming from the right to the left as well. And then this is also coming from the right to the left. It looks like we are supposed to correct this. We want this rather to come from the right to the left and then the um, object here to come from the left to the right. So let's just come back here. Let me just come here, double click on this. Let me change that. So I'll come to CSS3 animation and then I'm going to select left that is fading left and then I'll hit on OK. I'll come here, then come to my object properties, CSS3 animation. I'm going to change this to fading right and then I'll hit on OK. Now the second slide is perfect because we have this position here and this is position here. Now we come to the third one and we want to correct this one also. So let me come to CSS3 animation and then I'm going to change this to left. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Hit on OK. Come here. Come to Object Properties, CSS3 Animation. And then I'm going to change this to right. So I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Hit on OK. Let's preview this again in our browser and see how it's going to look. So as you can see, we have this coming from the left. We have this coming from the right. We have this coming from the left. This coming from the right. And finally, we have this coming from the left. This from the right. And this from the bottom. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.